What is the most cruel thing someone has done to you? My fiancé likes to cover my face with a blanket whenever we F so that he doesn't have to see my face. He's been really selfish ever since we got engaged four years ago, and even keeps pushing the wedding date back. I was ready to have his last name and everything, but he kept saying that we're still getting to know each other, and he doesn't want to rush things. I never believed him, but I was so in love with him that I tried to ignore my suspicion of what the real reason why he didn't want to get married would be. I had my suspicions that it was because I was getting older. It would explain why he didn't want to see my face while he was pleasuring himself, but as I'm typing this I realized that it had been years since he called me beautiful. It was the first thing he said to me when we first met eight years ago. I knew he was the type to value beauty, but I didn't think he was shallow enough to treat me like trash just because I was getting older. Sometimes I even thought I was dating a Leonardo DiCaprio wannabe, and honestly my suspicions weren't far off, but the real reason was so much worse. I found out the truth when we went to his parents' house for dinner. My future mother-in-law was quick to say that we needed to get married before I lost all of my beauty, and pointed out my crow's feet and uneven skin tone. My future father-in-law agreed, and had the audacity to say that my body was getting to a point where I wouldn't be able to give birth anymore. That hit a nerve because they were making it seem like I was the one delaying the wedding. I wanted to let them know the real reason without shifting the entire blame onto my fiancé so I joked that if they want grandbabies they have to tell their son to set a wedding date. Everyone immediately got quiet and I regretted opening my mouth. My fiancé slammed his fist on the table, got up and ran upstairs, where he shut himself into one of the rooms. My first instinct was to go after him, but my in-laws asked me why I would blame their son, and said I should be lucky to be with him. I couldn't listen to any more of that, so I rushed upstairs to apologize to my fiancé. But what I heard crushed my very soul. He was on the phone with someone and I heard him say that his ex will always be the love of his life. If that wasn't bad enough, he said that I was getting uglier by the day and just the thought of kissing me gave him the ick because my face felt like leather. I remember reaching up to touch my cheeks and flinching because he was right. My face felt rough. Then, I heard him say that he'd prefer to get married to his ex, who still looks like she's in her prime, because then he wouldn't have to keep doing doggy style. I couldn't listen to any more of that either so I left the house and sat in the car. It felt like my whole world was crashing down on me, and I couldn't believe that my fiancé was that terrible of a person. I was practically having a mental breakdown and ugly crying, and then I found myself wishing that he would go back to his ex who was still in her prime. As soon as I had that thought, it dawned on me that there was no way he would know that unless he kept in contact with her or was stalking her. I sat there frozen at the thought of him meeting her and telling her how pretty she is. The thought sat with me for days after that, and I had no idea what to say to him. I wondered if I should even say anything. I figured that the damage was already done and I should just go through with the wedding regardless. But after he covered my face with a blanket when I tried to get him to F me in missionary, I knew I couldn't let him get away with everything. So, while he was asleep I went through his phone and computer, and there was so much evidence of him texting his ex and flirting with her. Their conversations dated back almost three years ago and they've met multiple times behind my back. I took screenshots of everything in case he tried to deny it later. After I was done, it hit me that his ex really was beautiful. She didn't have a single wrinkle or dark spots like me, and despite being two years older than me she looked five years younger. I knew then why my fiancé preferred her over me, and that nearly destroyed me. My fiancé had always measured my worth by my beauty, so to prove my worth I had to be pretty again. I ended up spending the entire night researching how to get rid of my skin issues. It honestly pained me to find out that I had destroyed my own skin, because the only reason I had crow's feet and hyperpigmentation was because I didn't use sunscreen. But then I realized that I didn't know of any sunscreen that could get rid of crow's feet and hyperpigmentation, and that sent me through a rabbit hole. Though it was worth it because I eventually found out that kinetin lessens the effects of skin aging and rejuvenates the skin to have a more youthful appearance instead. So, I searched some more and found a sunscreen that had kinetin in it. It was a growth factor sunscreen that would get rid of my crow's feet and hyperpigmentation, and block UV rays too so that I never had to deal with this again. As soon as I ordered it, my best friend sent me a picture of my fiancé making out with his ex and another picture of them holding hands, where it clearly showed his face. At that moment all I wanted was for him to regret ever cheating on me. Luckily, as I used the growth factor sunscreen, the changes were slow but steady. I saw my complexion getting brighter because my hyperpigmentation was disappearing. I could hardly believe that my skin tone was finally one single color, or that I was looking so young. I felt like I was glowing, and my face had a youthfulness to it that I hadn't seen in years. Three weeks after using the growth factor sunscreen, I saw my crow's feet were going away and I was starting to not look like an old hag anymore. My fiancé even noticed the difference because he started to touch me more. He'd kiss me on my cheek and call me pretty. That was actually the moment I realized my skin was smooth as a baby's butt, instead of feeling rough and gross. I even kept rubbing my cheek and didn't hear a noise or feel a bumpy texture, but as I fawned over how pretty the growth factor sunscreen had made my face, and noticed how much love my fiancé was now showing to me, I realized that I didn't want to prove my worth to him anymore. Being with him felt like being someone's sloppy seconds and I didn't want to feel like that all the time. I couldn't be with him anymore, so I was thinking of ways to confront him about everything. I thought it would be difficult to do so, but when he came home from work one day and called me beautiful as he tried to kiss me, I felt years of pent-up anger within me. I shoved him away and told him that I heard what he said about his ex, and that I knew he was seeing her again. I practically saw his heart drop to his butt. He immediately defended himself, saying that I was the only one for him and that we were just going through a rough patch. I reminded him that he's been delaying our wedding for years, and it's all because I was getting old. He said that I heard him wrong and that he would never think that way. So, I asked him why he was delaying our wedding. Instead of answering, he said that I should calm down and we could talk about setting a date. I asked him if he was only wanting that now because I was pretty again, and he didn't hesitate in saying yes, though I could tell he wasn't expecting to blurt that out. I told him that if he thought that way, then he could go back to his ex. 
he then told me that his ex wasn't nearly half as pretty as I was, and that he had a reasonable explanation for seeing her again, he said that he was going over to tell her how much he loved me and how much I meant to him, and that I was the only one for him, I told him, that he really loved saying that line, but I wasn't buying any of his BS because I knew what he was actually saying to her, he asked me how I knew and I showed him the screenshots and along with the picture of him being with his ex that I had saved weeks prior, back when I hadn't started using the growth factor sunscreen, he then had the audacity to get mad at me, and said that I had no right to invade his privacy and claimed that wasn't him in the picture, but his face was on full display, I just told him that I wasn't going to get lectured by a cheater, and that both me and his ex could do so much better than him, he said that he was as good as it gets, and I had to laugh, I was pretty much done with him at that point, and I told him that I didn't want to be with a cheater, before he could say another word, I yanked off the engagement ring and threw it in his face, he yelled at me as I walked to the car, saying that I would have to get on my knees and beg for him to take me back, by the time I reached my car, I sighed the biggest sigh of relief, I was so happy that I could end things with him, though knowing him, I knew he was going to throw a huge tantrum and go cry to his parents, and knowing his parents, they were going to let themselves be manipulated by him and would try to force me to take him back, so, in order to prevent that from happening, I sent all the screenshots of him and his ex flirting and pictures of them kissing to the family group chat, and blocked them to further protect my peace, update, a lot of you asked what is going on after the divorce, and honestly the process just started, but my husband hasn't stopped messaging me, and weirdly enough his mom asked what I used for my skin, like girl, a lot of you also asked me what sunscreen I used to get rid of my crow's feet and hyperpigmentation, so here you go, it was the C Clearly Growth Factor sunscreen, it's a bit pricey, but I've never had something deliver such great results, to me before, it's a white and blue tube of sunscreen, and who knows, maybe using it will give you the confidence to leave your cheating partner too.